people are going to judge you anyway. And so rather than try to impress people, you should really just try to impress yourself and focus in on on what's going to be uh, your mission and your purpose and your direction in your life. I, I remember reading, must have been about 20 years ago, maybe 15, 20 years ago, whatever that was, there was a, a hospice nurse in Australia. And um, she, she would talk to people, uh, many patients throughout the, the end of their lives and talk to them about their meaning. She'd do life review with them and talk to them about the ups and downs, the challenges um, of, of all of their lives. And, and what she wanted to try to find out was, were there any specific things that were common that people towards the end of their life look back on as regrets? And the, the tool was that if there was some common things and common things that were um, regretted by by people, that she could sort of um, publish a book and channel it to the younger generation so that they wouldn't have to live a life with making those same mistakes. And the number one mistake that she discovered in, in speaking with those people that were nearing the end of their lives was that I wish I would have lived a life according to what I wanted from myself, as opposed to what others wanted from me. There was, there was a great piece of advice that I got from a mentor um, when I was a rabbinical student. And he said something, I'll, I'll never forget it, especially, you know, I just came into my, my 40s, into, uh, in, in my age. And what he said was that in your 20s, when you're in your 20s, people care uh, what everyone thinks about them. You care very much that everybody, what everybody's thinking about you. When you reach your 40s, you don't care what anybody thinks about you. And then when you hit your 60s, you realize that at the beginning, no one was thinking about you to begin with. In other words, we think everyone's watching and what's this person going to say and what's good, what would be if I do it like this? Just live your life and, and do it in the way that makes sense to you and do it the way that's pleasing to you and do it the way where you're going to be at the same time cultivating the cultivating the um, talents, passions, abilities, experiences that you have in making your life special and meaningful.